Hello guys, welcome back. This is Johnny M. Yet back again with another episode. This time is the 10th one. As you can see, we're playing Farming Simulator 17, but I call it Farming Speedrun 17. Because as you can see in the top left corner, I I show it to you the game is presented to you at 4x the original speed in the last episode for those who watch or for those who haven't we made our big our second big investment of the game and we bought this one tractor called Fenvario 900 with the default engine and it is what we're using right now to haul the bales because it has the advantage over the one the default tractors the two that I have it's 20 kilometers faster so it's 63 kilometers instead of 43 we're going to the field and we're loading the grass bales at least I hope they're grass bales because you can tell that easily yes they're grass bales so until you don't look at them from the side you can tell for sure what type of bells they are in a previous episode we made silage bells and the rest of the field we left them as grass bells earlier we made some hay bells if you see during the episode some weird transition where couple of minutes of the game time uh, this magically disappear take note that those are pauses that I make in recording because it's not uh, always uh, easy to make uh, two hours of uninterruptible gameplay so often you have to stop the game at least for a couple minutes so uh, yeah but I'm showing you everything so I may pause the game or I just don't do anything the game still runs but I don't do anything because uh, in my style of gameplay I'm showing you everything so I'm not doing anything behind the scenes that is you can uh, watch as our farming career unfolds uh, along with me and enjoy it at its fullness another day and the weather predictions shows that we are going to have some hay hail yes and as I said previously hail and rain is a good thing because it will uh, clean your vehicles without you having to pay a single dime for it the only downside is that you cannot harvest the crops during the hail or rain which is a game mechanics persistent from at least FS 2009 when I started playing this game they since then in this regard they haven't changed anything they haven't introduced seasons of course mods uh, solve this problem but yes they don't have months they don't have seasons in this game they only have weeks which is just a visual representation it doesn't influence anything it's not like you cannot harvest for example during Sundays because it's it's a weekend or loading the bales in the small mixer in hope that we'll have that we'll soon have enough money to <clears throat> to buy the big one one silage bale and three hay bales 
I drop some. I'm sorry you have to watch it also during the nights, by, but this goes along with my my willing to show you everything so even during the nights when the visibility is lower I still show you the gameplay I'm not hiding anything but I set the gamma to 1.1 in the game and also during post-processing I set the I up the exposure at 0.5 in Premiere, so you should be able to see it uh, better in the night. Another day and another loads of mix ratio. Right now we have 134 carols which mean that the payouts get bigger bigger each day and uh, the feed required to keep our cows fed is increasing with each day which is good it's not a problem because we have enough food and our small field is enough to feed all our cows as you saw a cow just just passed my mail trailer again the cows can keep up with the speed of of me feeding them I'm able to feed them faster than they can eat. So I have to find for myself different activities. Like here I go to take some water. A new day and 34 and a half thousands of euros made by selling milk, but only about 25 or 26 thousand net because of the credit that you have to pay each day and because of the animal upkeep and vehicle upkeep. And at this point I decided to invest a little bit more in cows because as you saw they can keep up with me feeding them so I decided to buy some more cows this is the smallest trailer which this trailer also have been featured in mods in previous iterations of the game and then they decided to add it to the game not more not a lot more detail than the mod version or at least it seems so to me but at least they introduced these pickup trucks which you get one the smallest one uh, when you start uh, the default maps 
so at least you can move this small trailer uh, quite fast. I tried to also uh, move the water trailer with this truck and you can but only when the water trailer is empty. Once you fill it with 7.3 tons of water it can move which I assume is realistic. I don't think that this pickup can tow 7.3 tons. Cows are unloaded and now we have 150 of them. More and more cows which mean more and more money which mean higher and higher reproduction rate. So step by step we're becoming cow tycoons or dairy tycoons. 36,000 for this day. I, also, I always put the spare money um, in returning the credit so that I'm not charged overnight for all the credit and then when I need I take it back and it seems that mm, the maximum amount of credit is somewhere hard-coded because even if you go to the save file and edit your credit to let's say 1 million it will charge you the right amount of money so it will ch charge you for the entire 1 million but once you hit repay 5000 it will deduce this 5000 for from 300 and i couldn't find the file which holds this uh, this number 500 uh, 300,000 because I wanted to edit the game so it will allow me to borrow more that is to not have to use the Hagelstadt uh, bank mod but I couldn't find and I assume that's the reason that mod exists because it's not that easy to modify that value Probably it's in the exe file, in which case even if you can modify it's illegal and most of the modders will not do, they will not edit the exe file. Which in some cases it's, it's actually good to modify the exe file, for example uh, there were older games written for Windows 98 which will refuse to run on Windows XP no matter how you set the compatibility so the only way to make it work was to edit the exe file and if you search well enough you could find those exe on the internet and replace the original one and play the game also I've seen uh, at least one game that had uh, such an exe in order to run it in Windows 7 because the game original was made for Windows XP and I hate when new version of Windows break compatibility with older games especially with games because with programs it's easier you can just uh, find uh, the new version of the program for example I remember when the Adobe Audition used to be called Cool Edit Pro and I and I liked that program a lot and I continue to use it to this day in the form of Audition uh, but I actually tested the, the, the old Cool Edit Pro still works in Windows 10 which is great but I hate to not be able to play older games like for example Space Empires 5 
I enjoyed that game so much and I wanted to play it so much but it ran well in Windows XP but it started to run very poorly in Windows 7 then even worse in Windows 8 and especially bad in Windows 10 so the frame rate with each iteration of the Windows goes down and down there are some ways around there are articles full articles with ways of improving the frame rate but those are just tricks that help uh, just to some point and also require in some cases required to have Nvidia graphics card which I don't have in my life I had just two Nvidia graphics cards uh, a GeForce 2 and a GeForce uh, no three I had a G then I had a GeForce 8400 and then I had a GeForce 88 Ultra no 88 GTX not the Ultra but since then I own only AMD cards so I hate when some games require Nvidia or uh, run better on Nvidia because most of the time as you know this is made on purpose with game works with this four four thing how is it called it's 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 a nonsense I could talk to you for hours about how I hate these things when Nvidia does this and all the practices that Nvidia and especially Intel uh, has done over the years okay so a new day and 39,000 this this time I think soon we'll have enough money to buy the big round baler few bales more of grass and one cow decided to sleep under my silage bales I guess it's warmer there and probably the silage bales when fermenting release um, Hit and probably it's 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 really war warmer. I'm not just kidding. I assume that when uh, grass uh, is uh, transforming into silage, some heat is released. so we have enough money to buy the big feed mixer so I'm taking the old one to the store to sell it because starting from I forgot which ver version um, bringing the vehicles to the spot to the sales port at the store uh, will give you more than it used to be more than a half but now it's more than the, the market value because it decreases now it's a half when you buy the vehicles and then over time it decreases okay so we bought this Picon Biga or how is it called so visually its internal volume looks to be about four times of the default uh, mixer the tractor can pull it nicely And we're heading back to use it for the first time. But before we do this, I decided to invest the rest of the money into five additional cows. 
because I have only 25,000. Because since we upgraded on on our feeding capabilities, then why not to upgrade in our feeding mouse? To have more mouse. Mouse. It's hard for me to pronounce this word. Okay, and I forgot uh, to put the lights on. So, if we used to use one silage bell and three hay bells, now with this feed mixer being four times as big, we have to load four silage bells and six no, six pairs, so 12 hay bales. A lot of bales, actually. Yeah, which means two loads of... Um, two loads of silage bales and six loads of hay bales. Each load consisting of two bales. I bought additional four cows. I was trying to, to, to find some activity until my my food levels go go lower in order to, to be able to to use my pick on bigger. So that's why one more reason why I went and bought uh, additional cows and these cows seem to not give a damn about my machinery I guess it's because I uh, disabled uh, the engine of the, of the machines you are in that's, that's why they're not giving a damn if the engine would sound, would make noise, then uh, I guess they they will be scared. And of course, I'm joking. It's just they're not programmed to react to uh, vehicles. And this uh, Picon bigger is unloading slower. probably realistic after all it's a bigger trailer I'm trying to get this bell which was left from previous harvested harvests and because you have to make six loads of hay bells you have to count now to make sure to not to not put more bales because the game will accept as many bales as you can put in these mixers it's just if you achieve 100% it will accept the bales and will basically destroy the bales so there's a quick way of destroying bales for you if you have too many bales and don't know what to do with them also I assume you can sell them I think in the default map there were some some barns where you could sell the, the straw, the, the, the grass and, uh, and I assume the bales, but I never used it actually. The, the, there wasn't really a point in selling, uh, in selling bales, except, except FS 2009. That game bells were worth a lot, and you could make a lot of money selling bells. And we didn't have animals back then, so this is the only way you could use the bells. So I guess with this we are finishing this episode. As usual, please leave your 
thoughts in the comment section. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye-bye.